Hi, welcome to graphing rates, um, specifically unit rates. Uh, you will be able to graph rates by finding the unit rate and making a table. This video is going to be super fast, so make sure you're paying attention. Uh, example, 200 calories in 8 ounces. We have two totally different labels there. That's how we can identify it's a unit, or sorry, a rate. And so because it's a rate, we can find a unit rate. Um, and I want to know how many calories are in one ounce. So I'm going to have calories be my numerator and my ounces be my denominator since I want to measure and find what one ounce is, how many calories are in that one ounce. Um, so I'm going to divide these out, so 200 divided by 8 ounces. Type that in your calculator. I'll uh, and you get 25 calories per one ounce. Um, now that you know your unit rate, that's the most important thing you have to find. Once you know your unit rate, now you can use a table. And you're going to pick um, X is going to be your ounces and Y is going to be your calories. Because the calories depends on how many ounces that you have, so that's why. Um, also, your X is always going to be in the denominator spot. Um, so here we go. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Here we go. So X, I can pick whatever that is. Um, I'm going to pick 1, 2, 3, and 4 just for ease. Um, X, if I have 1 ounce, I have 25 calories. If I have 2 ounces, that means I have 50 calories because 25 is 1 ounce, another 25 makes 2 ounces. Um, if I have 3 ounces, that's 25 times 3, and that will give me 75. Um, let's back up here. This one, 50 came from 25 times 2, and this one was 25 times 1. Um, that's how we got those answers. And then four, 25 times 4, because 4 ounces will give me an answer of 100. Um, now that I have these I can use these as coordinates, so my x and my y. So I have x is 1, coordinate y is 25, x is 2, y is 50, x is 3, y is 75, x is 4, y is 100. I'm going to use those coordinates now to plot my graph. You're going to have to pick a scale that works for you. Um, I'm going to count by ones on my x-axis. And I'm going to count by tens on my y-axis. Actually, that's not going to work. And I have to count by more than that. I'll count by twenties. 20, 40, 60, 100. All right, um, and now I'm going to plot these points. So I have 1, 25, that's going to be about right here. Um, zero, if I had zero, it would be zero, zero, so we're going to put that there. If I have zero ounces, I have zero calories. Um, two would be 50, which is going to be right there. 3 would be 75, so 375 is about here. And 4, 100 is right here. Um, and then we connect those lines. Obviously, we can see that's going to make a straight line that looks like that. Alrighty. Your turn. $16 in 4 hours. Find the unit rate. Dollars per hour. That's how we measure hourly wages. So dollars per 1 hour. Make a table. Bring that to class. So we're going to graph it together. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Excited to do this in class with you.